Hi Donald, uh, here is a just a quick video to show you how you can add in fades at the beginning and end and also add in a volume envelope as well. So here I just have my iTunes library and I'll just put in a track very quickly. So once I bring it in it, it just needs to parse very quickly and then the first thing I'll show you is how to add a fade at the beginning of the track and a fade at the end and we have a new tool in here that allows you to do that so if you see when I hold my mouse to the top of the of the file here you'll see that a, a fade indicator comes in and then I can add in a fade there so there I am fading in the track slowly and I can always right click on that fade type and bring it down so you can control the fade, the level of fade you can do fast, you can do a very fast fade or a very slow fade and um, that's one way to do it. Now if you wanted to put a fade at the end of the track you can do the same, just hold the mouse over the end you'll see, the, you'll see up at the top and you'll see a fade indicator and again you can just put your fade in there and then right click on the fade type for the fade that you want. Another way to add in fades is to click on the volume envelope here so you click on the volume envelope and this red envelope comes in so here you can just double click on it to insert nodes and then just bring in fades that way so you'll see I can click play here and there's no audio and then it's gently fading in you can see the volume envelope then and I can actually click on the envelope and then change it again so I can do like a very slow fade in just clicking on the envelope again just a very fast here maybe so you can con completely control the fading in and out using the envelope and again to fade out just double click create a node where you want it to start and then bring it down and then again right click on it for a very slow fade let's say and then you can drag it in you can insert nodes at any stage and to delete a node just by clicking delete a node so uh, that's the two ways you can just grab it using the fade indicator at the beginning and end or insert a volume envelope you can also cross fade two tracks so let's say I bring in another track here I can actually stick it in here and then I can just cross fade it so that's two tracks faded in together and then I can right click and put in a change the fade so you're able to fade and cross fade tracks very very simply and you can also insert volume envelopes to control the value the levels of volumes on the track as well okay i hope this helps and if you've got any questions please don't hesitate to contact me best regards cormac